And see, in this video, I'm going to be doing a fake versus real Canada Goose Crofton Gillet. If you look at these two, they look very, very similar. Now, I'm going to ask you, which one do you think is the real one? Do you think it's this one or do you think it's this one over there? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to work it out. Please leave a comment in the comments box below. Back to it. Okay, so guys, listen, the real one is actually this one over here. This is the real Canada Goose Crofton Gillet. And this one is actually the counterfeit one. When I used to do a lot of fake versus real videos back in the day, I always used to say this after the video that how scary it is that the counterfeiters are getting so close. And we are at a space now where the actual counterfeits are so near one-on-one. -on -one, it's really scary, man. It's quite worrying. Brands themselves, they need to do more about, because it's just ruining their product. You're going to see a lot of these on eBay, Depop, Vinted. Even be careful because sometimes what I see people are doing is they go ahead, buy from the genuine retailer, and then they send it back to some retailers because some of the retailers are not sure how to check. So when people are saying, oh, I bought a fake from this store and I bought a fake, it's very highly likely that someone bought a genuine one and then returned it. And now you're thinking that the retailer is a counterfeit. We have this set of instructions here which shows how to pack the jacket. Now you can see on the counterfeit one, they've actually got pictures of some straps here, which is incorrect because there's no straps in this Crofton Parker. So you can see here, it's totally different. So if we put them side by side, I'm gonna show you that there's a big difference between these two, okay? So this is the real one here and this is the counterfeit one okay so that's the first thing that i want you guys to notice i the noticed second. this was quite apparent to me but the finishing on the zips so if you look they're both using ykk zippers which are actually really good in terms of how how they both look i mean they are nearly both one-on-one -on -one, man it's quite quite ridiculous how close these guys are it's a lot more clean on the genuine item whereas we look at the counterfeit you can see it's a little bit more messy on the counterfeit here so it's a little bit different like the finishing here is not that great whereas you can see the finishing here it's a lot more clean clean compared compared to the counterfeit in fact when you look when you look on your Croft and Gillet, what you'll see is two stitches going down and just before it enters the zip area, it turns into one stitch. The counterfeiters do not have time to go into that type of detail. So they've done a double stitch all the way down, which is not the cleanest of double stitches. But if I go all the way up, you can see here, it's gone, the double stitch has gone into one stitch because it's not, you know, the quality is, is not very good in terms of the finishing. So that's, uh, that's one of the things I noticed. We can see we've got the neck label right here. And one of the things that I noticed is if you look at the Canada Goose, look how thin that is. It's so difficult to see the Canada Goose right there. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see there, the Canada Goose. But if we look onto the genuine one, you can see it's a lot more cleaner, a lot more thicker and easier to see, okay? Even if we look at the finishing up here at the top, we can see the finishing up here is not great the top and over here we can see it's a lot more clean compared to the uh, counterfeit so if you look this is the new labels now like this the best way to tell with this one is if you look at this stitch if you look at the text on this it's just too um, thick the font is too thick and it's a little bit too I can't describe it I'm going to put a picture up on the screen so that you can see it but it's a little bit too perfect I'll, I'll put a side to side profile so you can see what an actual label looks like this is an old label guys or the older label and this is the newer label so i think it's since 2020 or 2021 or 2022 something around that area that's when these were introduced with the new labels so you can see the hologram now um it's all the way at the back and you can see the old style label that used to be at the front they have put that at the back and in fact, if you look at this, can you see it almost looks like it's been printed with an old school typewriter kind of kind of font, kind of look to it. You can see the quality is, uh, it looks very different. Whereas this one, it looks like it's been printed with more of a newer machine. It doesn't have this kind of authentic look. That's the best way that I can tell personally is that if you look at the font, it just looks like it's got this more authentic look. Like even if you look at the actual print itself you can see it's faded 
in some parts, okay? That is the genuine. Another thing to note is once you have a certain amount of Canada Goose, after a while, you notice that the, the color, the color is off. They don't actually have a color like this as far as I'm aware. It's a little bit too, what's the word? Like almost like a matte type finish and it doesn't really have this gloss to it. I can't really explain it. But what is annoying is that they, they are using a ripstop material. If you look really close, you can see the grid. You can see that it's a ripstop material, which they are also using on the original. So that's kind of annoying to see that, that they've got so close. If you look at the Canada Geese rubberized print work, which they've put on the side here, look how imperfect the A is. Can you see the A and the bridge? right here is not perfect and also this a as well you can see it's not perfect but look at the canada goose absolutely straight well defined perfect all the way through that's how you know that this is the genuine one and if you look at this you can see how inconsistent that is i mean look at the bottom of that e you can see that it's quite inconsistent so that is actually the counterfeit one i mean to be fair i shouldn't be saying it but they've actually gone and done a not too bad of a job in trying to um, in trying to replicate this, you can see that the 3M um, reflection strips at the back of the gelée is too wide and it's a little bit too bright compared to the original. The original one is a little bit more dull compared to that, and you can see the spacing it also here. I can put my finger in that spacing, whereas here you can see it's a lot more thinner. It's this one for me personally, I think it's quite difficult because they've done a quite a good job. But one thing I can say is if you look at the Canada Goose maple leaves, they're a lot more thicker and a lot more full. Whereas you look at the counterfeit one, you can see it's not as thick and as full. The counterfeit one is actually quite good to be fair. But um, one thing I did notice is that the sizing, like for example, of the different letters, they just seem to be, some of the letters seem to be bigger or smaller than the rest of the letters. Like this A looks a little bit bigger than the D. This E looks a bit um, longer than the S. Whereas if you look at the Canada Goose, the original, they should, all the letters should be roughly the same size going all around, okay? So guys, that's it. That's the best ways that I've devised on how you can spot a fake versus real Canada Goose today. So I hope you found this useful. I will be bringing back the fake versus real series. So if there's anything that you want me to do a fake versus real on, just let me know. But for now, I'm out of there. Lots more coming. Peace.